Hello everyone, this is X Snagger West, and welcome back to West Plays Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Day, day 8 here on the farm, I almost said 7. It is 5 a.m., a reasonable time to be waking up. Finally. Um, we're not crazy anymore. The birds are chirping, the sun is rising. I should actually take a look up at the sky because it could be it could be really pretty. Oh yes, it is. It is, a, it is a lovely day today. Look at the sun rising over there. Over there above uh, Mineral Town, or whatever. I, I actually just downloaded Friends of Mineral Town for the emulator to try it out, see if I liked it and stuff. Uh, did I just see these grow in real time? Or, I probably didn't. Okay, let's let's check the, um, this tomato will wilt soon. Okay, so there's no there's no actual point in exhausting ourselves to, to, um, to use the hoe and retail that land. Um, we're not going to bother with that yet, since that, since that really does exhaust us and I don't like to take the time out of the day, because... When, when he's like heaving and he's down on his knees and stuff like that, he does not, uh, he doesn't move, but time also progresses. Unlike when he does the hungry thing like this, if you notice, time doesn't progress and all of the people stop, all of the people around stop, uh, stop doing what they're doing when he does that. So, we're gonna eat because we, uh, guys gotta eat, you know. <laughs> Fish gotta swim, birds gotta eat, you got it. And, um, I'm gonna let the animals out. And then we're gonna check on the chicken. We'll go in there and check their food levels later. Oh cool, you're awake. And you look, you certainly look, oh, you're eating, okay. You certainly look chipper today. There you go, now she's happy. Let's, let's, let's brush, let's brush her. Let's brush this out here. We could probably trim the field too and get some more fodder in, on the inside. We usually don't do that, or I usually don't do that until it's an emergency, um, until I actually need all that fodder. Oh my gosh, she's, she's looking nice and bright. Her coat, her coat is shining beautifully today. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push you. Oh my gosh, please, 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 mechanics, please, game mechanics, don't, be, don't be, don't be jerks today. You are impossible, sheep. There we go. Oh, ooh, look, look, look. Okay, so the sheep's uh, wool, it looks uh, almost ready to trim. I don't know if it's actually ready to trim yet. I don't know if we wait until it's like... I don't know. We, you know what? We could, we could experiment. We could check it out. Actually, you know what? Let's not, because I'm pretty sure... I, I'm fairly certain of, of, uh, of what I... Of what I know here, that when the sheep looks like it did when we first got it, it should uh, it should be ready to shear. I'm actually kind of I'm actually kind of upset about the condition it was in when we did get it. It's seven. Um, when we woke up today, oh yeah yeah yeah, you're laying eggs every day. That is awesome. Yeah, I actually I actually don't like letting the chicken out in the field because then I can never find it, unless the field's completely trimmed. In which case, I'm not worried about it. We're gonna check and see, uh, and see if see if its health uh, gets any worse over the time that we do leave it inside, all days. Yeah. So while this is yes a let's play series, um, no, I want to look. I want to look. I, I want to look at the inventory. There we go. Current stock forty one. Yeah, we have plenty. We do not have to worry about this. And this board tells us about our barn animals, not about our chickens. I'm not sure why. We'll figure it out if the chickens ever do get sick. Um, hi, Spectre. How are you doing? You're just staring off into space there, little doggy. This doggy, I don't think, will leave the farm. I'm pretty sure the dog doesn't leave the farm. And I know it probably doesn't. I know it probably doesn't like mugworts, but that's really the cheapest thing we can feed it with right now. And yes, I'm all about that cheapness. We're gonna check our log, see how much money we made off of that six things of milk, see if we're actually profiting. Well, I mean, obviously we're... Obviously we're profiting. The milk costs us nothing, especially since we didn't even buy the cow. Um, and then the egg. And... Yeah, I'm still saving up for that one pond. I'm still saving up for the pond uh, and for the food processing room. I really want the food processing room first, and then I want the uh, seed maker f that we can get from Daryl, so we're gonna go... Uh, we're gonna go talk to Daryl now. We're actually gonna go inside... Uh, Takakura's house and see what's going on here, too. Because I can't remember what Tartan does. But Tartan is a, uh... 
is a useful character, if I recall correctly, um, for something. <coughs> oh yeah, that's right. We were going to go see Daryl last night, but we didn't. Because we're noobs. Um, nothing going on in here. Anything going on in here? Nothing going on in here. Ugh. I wish I knew how to make Ruby Spice. I'm pretty sure Ruby Spice... There's a glitch in the game to, uh... To make Ruby Spice, um... Or to duplicate Ruby Spice. Not sure how useful it is. Closed. Yeah, of course you're closed th this time of day. Good bar. Good bar. And here's Nami already. We're gonna say hi to her and actually give her something that she probably likes this time. And instead of making her hate us. That looks great. Oh, she's she's giving us the same line for this. What she really likes, she likes uh, fall flowers. And since it's not fall yet, we can't really give her fall flowers. I don't think uh, that we actually have to wait until fall to get the uh, to get her hearts all the way up. But she does like some things from the dig, so we, we can give her those gifts too. We'll go and find Daryl later, because I'm fairly certain Daryl's not awake at this time of day. Especially not this time of day. And I'm pretty sure it's in the first season when you get when you get the seed maker from Daryl. Um, which is really useful. We can keep our... Uh, did I say first season? I meant first year. Uh, Lumina's playing the piano. Did I just trigger an event? I triggered an event! Oh my gosh, yes! Rock's here too. Lumina, you're good. You can play what's written on the score, but you can play a little more freely. So Lumina's work just kind of got criticized, and we're gonna... Is it just me, or does this sound kind of like Zelda Zelda's lullaby? Lately, piano hasn't been much fun. Grandma's been on my case. I wonder what it's like to play piano freely. Um, it's okay, try harder, and it's okay, have fun. We're gonna say, it's okay, have fun. And hopefully that's the good thing. I wonder if you'd listen to my story. Sweet, we get to know her story now. This is awesome. I started playing when I was three. Grandma taught me. She always praised me for how careful I was not to hit the wrong notes when I was playing. But soon I felt more and more pressure to do well. The better I did, the more she expected of me. I was told how my mother would be proud. Suddenly I became scared of hitting the wrong notes. I thought of how disappointed my grandma would be. I guess I was trying to be like my mother for grandma. That's not what grandma wanted. So she told me to practice at my own pace. Wow, I feel so much better. It's just like you said, Wes. I feel like I can have fun when I play again. Thank you so much, Wes. So, we got a cutscene for Lumina, finally. And it kicked us out of the house for some reason. That's odd. And it's only 10 a.m., so that, that cutscene only lasted like one minute. Oh my gosh, if you guys can hear what's going on outside, I'm so sorry. Now we're gonna go see what Ramana's doing now. Lumina appears to be our friend. Um, oh my gosh, she's standing. Let's try to give her a present before she sits down, because she's crazy like that. And she's just... Oh. Finally, okay. Okay, so she took the gift because she's technically standing, even though she's standing inside of that chair, which is like twice her size now, now that she's not sitting in it. And, by the way, I am sorry if you can hear the outside noise. I don't know if I said that before or not, but people who seem to be getting up right now, and... And it's not even that early, so it's not like, you know, people are just getting up. It's just... Oh, Galen! We're gonna give him stuff anyway, because... because we like Galen. I didn't even talk to him. Ooh. But it is his favorite. Ooh. I used to live in the city, but then I got old but then I got older 
and came out here with Nina for some rest and relaxation. That wild plant was so-so in my opinion. Oh, he's not friends with us. He's not even, he's not looking at us. He's not tracking us or anything. Um, you know what? We're gonna try to give him something else and see if that hurts. Because he likes Columbos. I, n I know he likes fish. And so does mm. the one other guy. Mm. I used to eat this with my wife when we were younger. I think that sound he made basically means he doesn't like it, and the more we show it to him, the, uh... You know what? No, screw it. I'm not even gonna think that way. He likes fish, and, and he would have taken that had he not already taken the mugwort that we gave him earlier. So there's no biggie there. Okay. Let's see, since it's 11 o'clock, we can try in here and see if there's a cutscene in here, maybe. Nope, there's actually nobody in here. Let's try in here. We honestly shouldn't get anything in here. Yeah. Ooh, there's a door up here. Girls only. Ha. Ah, Muffy. Muffy, you're, you're so... You're so funny. Oh, Muffy. Um, I know the doc likes fish. I don't think we're trying to befriend him, though, so we'll do that later. We're, we're going to go and see if uh, Daryl's awake, or if Daryl's even home. I don't think he's home. Must be sleeping. Do you know what time it is, Daryl? Okay, so that's right. He does sleep. He just sleeps for a long, long time. Ah, <sighs> Van was in there. We could have gotten a cutscene with Van if he had stayed in the bar, or if he had stayed in the inn. And Doc Hardy's not friends with us. Nah, we don't want Doc Hardy to be friends with us yet. That's something for next year. Van's shop is open. We can go sell things to him if we want, but honestly, we don't really need to. We kind of have all the money that we need for stuff right now. Oh my gosh, why did it turn me around? We're gonna go uh, talk to Celia today. Because we haven't done that yet. We're going to collect these flowers first, though. If you're wondering why I have such an obsession with the flowers and I never sell them or anything like that, it's because when the season carries... Or, or sorry. They only grow once every two days, it appears. I, I have now noticed that. Um, now that I've picked all of them. And you can sell them. But they're also really quick and really cheap presents, which we can give. Okay, it's lunchtime for our character, so we should probably feed him this mugwort. That way he doesn't do the hunger thing again, because I hate that. I cannot stand that. I bet so much. We used to do quite a bit to get him to avoid uh, to avoid that thing. And she's in here. She's downstairs though, for some reason. Let's see. You want this? <laughs> You know what else Celia likes? This stuff. So yeah, we got gifts. We basically have gifts for Celia for about five days. You know, we can give her two gifts a day because those were two different types of things. Two hearts, which means we can trigger a heart event, which I should look up um, between... Wow, wrong door, doofus. Um, which I should look up. Uh, that way I can actually do something right for a change. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to try that. We're going to see how that goes. Notice their tomatoes and, and watermelons aren't fully grown yet. Look, here. She's friends with us just because we came into town. That's all. All we had to do was talk to her once, and that's good enough for her. Uh, that's Patrick or Cassie. I can't remember which one's which. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to tell them apart, but when they're introduced at the same time... Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult for me. I'm not good with names in the first place. And I should know by now. Man, I've been playing this game forever. So we've given our gifts for the day. Except for to Daryl. We, we need to give something to Daryl. I don't know if Daryl likes old coins, though. Maybe we should try that. <laughs> It's funny, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, like, maybe and stuff like that. By the end of this Let's Play, we will learn all that stuff. It's not going to be, like, a like a big deal. I did know at one point, because I looked up walkthroughs and stuff like that a while back, and I used to love 
like getting all of the information on the game before I even bothered playing it and just it got it got to the point where the game wasn't quite as interesting or quite as fun anymore so I had to change that and now I just enjoy the game I enjoy playing it and I enjoy sharing it and stuff like that and even if I haven't actually shared it I may even toss all of these episodes and just never upload them so if that's the case if this happens to be the last episode you see you know why um because I'm just actually enjoying the game finally. But this also gives me more of a reason to play. It gives me, uh, um, even though I, even though I'm not pressured to have an upload schedule or, or pressured to have a certain amount of episodes buffered out before I actually do anything like that, I actually do have some motivation to play because I know that eventually I might upload it. You know, that I guess it's that thing. Okay, we're probably not going to dig until the end of the day. We're, we we do want to do some other things today. I do want to fish, and I do want to meet Daryl. <laughs> I'm not finished tapping today yet. I just wanted to dig this square, and I, I, I accidentally hit your hitbox to talk to you. <sighs> oh, this is nice. We're finding fossils galore out here. I'm liking this. Again, sorry if you can hear me hitting the buttons and stuff like that. I mentioned before, like, you could hear me, like, repeatedly tapping the button. Like, I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was digging. And it, it was kind of annoying. It's like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're, we're not going to do that anymore. Hi, Flora. So Flora says she's in she's interested in fossilized uh, plants more than more than living plants yeah, that we just picked out of the ground. It's funny that she says that because first of all, there's no fossilized plants in this game, and second, I've tried giving her things from the dig, and she just doesn't care. No, nothing's wrong. Skull fossil. Oh no, a coin. Okay. Sometimes I try to guess what he's gonna pull out. I can't remember what it what exactly it is. If it's like the first thing, the last thing, or something directly in the middle, or if it's the most uh, things that you pull out. I can't remember. Maybe it's just random. My suspicion is that it's just random. Sorry for giving you whiplash with the camera there. I was just checking something. I wanted to see if there was a mugwort next to the falls, and there's not apparently. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Do we have our milk? Do we have any milk out? If we have milk in our, in our rucksack, we don't. Um, we don't have milk in our rucksack, so we don't need to give Ruby a present today. Can't remember if there's any benefits to befriending Ruby or, or any of the others. Actually, Ruby, do you like flowers? Or do you like... Do you like moon ore? Maybe you like moon ore. Yes. She likes moon ores. Cool. Not her favorite, but she likes them. She's not interested in anything. Are you friends with me? She's friends with me. Cool. Okay. Maybe we can befriend this guy. Does he like... You know what? Let's try giving these guys coins. Let's try giving the, co the twins coins. See if, they, see if either of the twins like them. Wait to taste it. Okay, have fun with that. Hey, Gustavo, you like coins, right? Yeah. Oh wait, he didn't like it. Is he still friends with us? He's still friends with us. Okay, we're cool. Yeah. Let's try finding the other twin. He's probably in the house, which means he won't take our presence. Um, I do want to find. Daryl, though. Daryl the scientist. To get the seed maker, maybe. Let me see if he's in here. I'm probably going to look up the... Okay, so he's out. He must be at our farm or at the lake or... Sorry, the goddess pond, probably. 
I mean, I know it's probably not called the Goddess Pond, but it's the pond that's up, up the street from our farm. Up the, sort of, what we would call a street. There he is. Sweet. I finally found you. And I'm fairly certain you like Columbo's. We're gonna give you this. Have this, Daryl. When he makes that sound, he really loves what you gave him. So he may become our, he may become our friend more quickly than some of the others. And are you sleeping? Well, you're not sleeping, so we can talk to you. Wait, it's what? Fine. Okay, whatever. Please don't get in the way of me milking the cow. There they are. I always have to look for the stack of milk. And that was the last one that repairs. Cool. That sheep just loves attention. Oh my gosh, they look so right. Oh, I can pick them. Cool. Okay, I can pick some of them, I guess. They have to be bigger. Just a bit bigger. That was awkward. Later on in the game, we will all we will always have something growing in the fields. Um, just depends on what we're doing. I'm actually starting to think that these don't grow any faster uh, based on how often we water them. So I will find that out later. I do know in other games it might matter, but in this one it doesn't seem to. Because I I I can go through the next year and try uh, try doing it in there, try doing only watering them uh, once a day in that year and see if that changes anything. And it'll matter, because having stuff always growing at the farm helps the kid uh, become a farmer. Become a better farmer. I'm gonna, gonna go talk to the chicken even though we don't really have to. And I'm pretty sure we only have to tend to our animals once a day. I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect them if we don't. But we're gonna do it anyway, just because. That's how I'm used to doing things. And um, we are... Uh, should, should we bother fishing? I don't think we should bother fishing today. I think I think that that should wrap this episode up. Uh, so I will see all, I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching.